Since I started playing this game months and months ago, this trial, episode 4, this episode, has been hyped up like crazy by everyone in the comment section. And I am excited to play this because I believe that it probably will live up to the hype, or at least I hope it will. But also at the same time, at the end of the last episode, we saw our old friend, uh, old friend slash enemy, I guess frenemy, Miles Edgeworth. I was so excited, and now I'm going to get to see what part he has to play in this, because clearly he did something to help us win in the last trial. I'm wondering what his angle's going to be in this trial. Well, let's see. Guys, my name is Calvin, also known as Roman, and this is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Justice for All, and I cannot wait anymore. Who will be this year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? I love the way they do this with the visual effects and stuff. Like, it's so simple, but it works so well. Oh, we're going back to Samurai's? Will it be last year's runner up Jam and Ninja? Or maybe Captain Saipan? And all the way. Oh, sorry. I see the students of a certain starry school are raring to win. And the global hero Oni Kopan doesn't want to go home without the prize. Really cool costumes. We hope Lady Luck is with all our heroes tonight. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix is me. What? Well, if you can cut the moon, then for sure. Like. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna argue with you. <gasps> the true hero of the night has appeared in, in her midst. It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to the Fantastic Warrior. This Fantastic Warrior. The Nickel Samurai. Too bad, Jammin' Ninja. Uh, looks like the title eluded you again this year. This is uh, very weird. March 20th, 7.42 p.m. Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Oh, wow. That guy actually looked to me as, like, the, um, the Steel Samurai from the, uh, from the first game. Uh, all right, yes. Did you hear that, uh, that Nick? Did you hear that the Nickel Samurai? He did it? Yeah, he sure did. I'm getting too old for this. Oh, my God, look at you. You look like a lion. I'm proud of the guy doing the series justice. Um, so the person everyone was cheering for, I guess he got the prize? Yep. You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai? No, every Sunday I only watch the educational channels, Kids Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai, all the kids watch it. Uh, I didn't know that Pearly was going to be still with us as we were going through this uh, game, but I suppose... Who could she really go back to? Her whole life is kind of in shambles, I suppose. She's probably better off with us as well. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. Not allowed? You can watch it at any age, okay? That's right, but I do like Kids Masterpiece Theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. If you don't know he's young at heart at this point, it's probably gonna be a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. Pearl, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> you're supposed to act your age and have interest at match. It's very important. Aw, give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made the night choice, uh, I made the right choice inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, it's like a dream. Too bad for the jamming ninja, though. Last year he lost to the Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey, did anyone else think that the jamming ninja looked a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strange. He'd walk around with, uh, yeah, without a signature guitar. I will never understand these people on their shows. Well, we could try and understand it, Phoenix. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Uh, it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. Like, um... I know, I love, I, again, like, one of the things I could always, like, talk about in this is, like, I don't know, like, how much I freaking love the colors in this game. And even though, like, I, I get it, like, I, I freaking, like, you know, I understand. Like, it's not just, like, um, wait. So I didn't want to look like an idiot, so I paused the video just for a second to check. I, 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 was, I, I looked at this guy and I was like, this guy looks really familiar. Is he, the, is he actually the Steel Samurai from the first game? 
Or am I thinking of a completely different guy? It's been so long. Okay, if it's if it, if it's not, then call me an idiot. But like, I don't know. I just had to look it up there as well. And like, I can't really find concrete proof right now. Uh, because um, I'm not close to anything that I can actually like actually look up. But hey, let's just keep going. Uh, there's a post ceremony stage show that's supposed to st uh, start real soon. By that I mean like I have it here, but I don't want to dig too deep and like pause the recording for too long. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. A press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? That sounds pretty serious. <sighs> Nick, come on. You don't want us to be in the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick. Do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. All of the pearls kind of like, um, emulating uh, people at this point. Like, emulating, uh, all, like us, I suppose. I suppose we can, like, talk to him, like, you know, like, uh, yeah, we, we should, we should. Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, it was nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers, what have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kid's exercise show. While wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about the, all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Oh, well, what's done is done. Let's forget about it. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popular exploded when he was... Yes, okay, he was. Okay, good. I'm not an idiot. Okay, I'm not an idiot. Uh, he was the first case uh, Maya worked on with me. I remember it. I actually remember that case because I remember how great the... Um, security lady was she was fantastic and it was such a cool environment to explore as well like just a movie lot i loved that episode as too bad you looked uh you look scary or people uh or people know you're a real softie who's good with kids um thanks let's talk about the nickel samurai i suppose i can't believe they're going to make a movie based on the nickel samurai i can't believe it either but for a different reason that looks so cool the seal samurai an epic story of a hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate in the city of Neo Tokyo. Nickel Samurai. Nickel Samurai looks cooler. And last year they started a new series, the Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with the kids too. I'm really attached to the Seal Samurai as a show. So I was hoping that maybe I'd get a chance to do something in the new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd been awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt on guard. Matt on guard, like on guard? Yeah, uh, he's super popular right now. Mr. Ungard? Looks like Pearl doesn't know who he is. This year, it's going to be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jamming Ninja at the box office. Jamming Ninja? Who's that again? Let's talk about the Jamming Ninja. So who's the Jamming Ninja again? He's a hero. His symbol is bright red. A uh, bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? Oh, that looks awesome. With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in his hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star. There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios uh, Nickel Samurai, Worldwide Studios Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get, al get along. The Nickel Samurai is on guard and the guy who plays the Jam and Ninja, I mean. The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt on guard. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Phoenix. I guess even the world of heroes isn't a sparkling happy place. Yeah. That's really cool that they're bringing back a character from the the, the first, um... The first, uh, like, game. I guess we go to the hallway. Like, I love that. I, I do love that they, like... Like, it just shows that it's just, like, you don't forget about the cases that happened in the past. They're part of his history. March 20th, Gatewater Hotel Hallway. Wow. What is this place? Looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Um, let's let's look around for a bit first. So there's some flowers. Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see, record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers home would be hard, I think. Okay, maybe we don't have to, like, we, we can see what this is. We can definitely see what this is, right? Oh, maybe, maybe we can't? There's a toilet in each room in this hotel, but since all sorts of events are held here, there's a bathroom for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but what are the stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there's an action star with a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, can't be. Why not? 
I am 100% sure if you gave Vin Diesel a bunny rabbit, he'd love it. To On Guard, from the Global Studio staff. Ah, it'd be nice if uh, lawyers got flowers too, something like. To Mr. Wright, from all your grateful clients. I mean, they've been... There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Matt on guard's room. Matt on guard? I've heard the name before. Oh yeah. Maya's always yammering about him like an obsessed fan she is. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Juan Corda's room. Juan Corda? His name just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. Is that it? Did, did I investigate everywhere? Looks like it. Um, do we have to go back to Viola Hall? Sounds like the post-ceremony show is about to start. All right, I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today, Nickel Samurai Smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in the most is the press conference. You mean the big confession Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Don't you know what it is about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not the Seal Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. You can tell there is kind of like a very big, like, and it's on the nose. Like, it's not like it's subtle, but he's very, he's very sad about, like, not being the Seal Samurai anymore. And I can imagine that, like, being beloved in some way, shape, or form by, like, you know, millions of kids around the world and all of a sudden just going to playing a faceless bunny rabbit in a show again, it can be very strange, right? Ah. Sorry. Ah, so I guess you were all going to the press conference then. Yeah, of course. If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Okay, press conference ticket. Thank you very much. Well, let's get going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Pearl is so excited. Of course, Pearl hasn't probably like seen shit like this before, right? Like one of my favorite moments of Pearl is in the like in the uh, is it the second episode when she walks all the way like from the mountains to the, the courtroom? <laughs> Freaking hell, Pearl. March 20th, Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. This looks awesome, too. And I guess it's, it's just one drawing, but, like, it's a good drawing. It's colorful. Hmm. Only a real gaudy hotel would have such a large, gaudy lobby to match. Ah, I think they're going to have the post-ceremony show over there. They're using a convex stage, I see. Oh, that's Phoenix. Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. Oh. I'm already to use my special uh, samurai power. Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. <laughs> I always just thought that was Maya all the time. Like, she's a big softie, but she always looks like she's about to, like, knock her heads off. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. Okay. Ah, you didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. <laughs> we are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please, stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. P police? Did he just say the police? Do you want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait. I'll come with you. Freeze. What do you mean freeze? You two. Didn't you hear the announcement just now? I just finished telling you not to move. That voice. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Honestly, you these days can't be barred to listen to other people when they... Is it her? <laughs> Is it actually her? Just the other day, it was the same thing. There was a... It, okay, oh, it's her. It's, I think it's her. No, of course not. He said he'd be careful to walk through the bridge and I would have the dragon and all holding the chair kid. That was really meant to. Well, I really didn't have a knock and clear. Off the bridge and honestly, these kids, he said, won't do right from wrong, I tell you. This is non-stop chatter. I, it can't be... Miss Oldbag? It is... <laughs> What is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Ah, oh, wait, you! You're powers, aren't you? Uh, yeah, uh, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program trying to play nice. This woman is everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show. And you're a hoot. You're the big brother character, right? Yes, even with your face covered in my mask, and it's you. What a work of art, but that's how you know. You know what I mean? You didn't wear the mask. You know how many TVs you break? Really a shame on those kids. Uh, you, they're getting what they deserve. This is what I thought you should be anyway. Um, what are you doing here? Oh, that's me. What are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell me I'm a member of security. But that outfit. 
Annoying noisy brats get the blaster. <laughs> She's shooting us with the freaking fake toy blaster. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's talk to her, I guess. Wendy Oldbag. Miss Oldbag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they cut the security team, I got the pink slip. What? What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you youngin. Don't you remember? That incident a year ago. When the lady got on the witness stand and testified? Yeah. And you? Weren't you the one who was bullying me, this fragile girl at heart? Um, I played the fifth. <laughs> but you know, I think maybe... I rubbed the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. Me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first after being hand, uh, handed an old pinky. You, a bodyguard? For your friend, that fiery, good-looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. Mr. Edgeworth? Edgy boy. Edgy. He's a handsome man. That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to deserve that? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what happened? Um, so, did something happen? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. An incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard at the least, at least for other people's sake? <laughs> Silence, whippersnapper. This is never gonna get old, is it? Just her shooting me with the, 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 the fake ray gun. Hey, Nick. What is it? I don't like that devilish pl smile playing on your lips. Let's make it like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. See, I think I think Maya more than Nick is like an ambulance chaser, you know? Someone who like will see like a car accident and run down with like a carrot for for uh, Phoenix's like a law firm. No way, the police told us not to go anywhere, remember? How boring. You're such a boring guy. You've got no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What's going on? Are you giving Mr. Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? She's gonna knock us out. Pearl's gonna knock us out. Not you too, Pearls. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. The one time at lawyer camp, Nick. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Let's take go take a look. Yay! I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. Was that a reference to American Pie? Was that an American Pie reference in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? That's right. You'd walk over miles of hot, uh, miles of hot coals for missing my, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? I love that she still has this in her head that she's like that we're in love. That would be every time we work a case together. She's not that bad. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come too long. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody. I get to come. I get to come. Uh, sorry, Wendy Old Bag. We're gonna, we're gonna move. We're gonna move Wendy Old Bag. Sorry. Do we examine this first? I guess. Wow, it looks like there's a fancy restaurant on the second floor. You still feel like eating? I mean, since we're here, you know? Don't pull the since we're here trick on me. What a beautiful mansion. Do you live in this wonderful world every day, Mr. Nick? Oh, no, this, this is my first time in a place like this. Poor Pearl thought we lived here. <laughs> I'm going to say these cameras were set up to cover the post-ceremony stage show. But I wonder where everyone's gone, abandoning their cameras like this. I guess something big must have happened. It's a stage for the post-ceremony stage show. There was supposed to be a press meeting after the show, but now? It looks like no one will hear what Nickel Samurai had to confess after all. This chair is here, I suppose. We could, but like, we're here, so we might as well take some pictures. Okay, everyone sit in the chair. We're all out of film. Don't worry about it. There's a zillion cameras over there we can borrow. I... Hey, hey, you can't just go and borrow an expensive professional camera like that. So is that everything we export? I think it is. Um, so I... So if we move to Viola Hall, maybe? Yeah, okay. March 20th, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better go look somewhere else. 
All right, then. Let's try... Bellboy, excuse me. <sighs> Are you by chance Miss Maya Fey? What is... A really interesting design, but like... Are you okay? Uh, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Karain Village. What's wrong with Sigmaya? Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead and I'll be all right there, okay? Okay. Right, this way, Miss Faye. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. I agree, Pearl. I agree. So I guess uh, the hallway was where like we like the the rooms were. So March twenty eighth, Gatewater Hotel hallway. I told you, I get people the info they want, which means that's what I've got right now. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm using the um for a controller. I'm not. I'm using the eight bit, uh, eight bit Do uh SN thirty Pro. It's really good. I can recommend it uh, wholeheartedly. I love it to bits, and it's, I played the full Xenoblade game with it, and it was so comfortable. Just letting people know, I get people the info they want, which means that I've got the right to know. No, nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. So this is. Gumshoe, right? Same pal. Just you wait, it'll be all over the morning paper. Scruffy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see, I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That sudden accident can only mean- No. <laughs> is she back again? Hey, right! Yeah, it is. Lotta. Come on, do a gala favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights. Ah, you! Ah, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell him that the only police allowed in here. I'm, I'm gonna side with Lada in this one, I'm sorry. She's a good reporter. This is a scene of a murder, so she should lead this to us pros. Well, pros is an interesting word to describe you, Gumshoe. I don't want to insult you to your face. So I, I'll be quiet. <laughs> ah, a murder? Ah, oh, shoot. Me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said, and that's what it is. A genuine murder. Hey, wait. Yeehaw, a murder! Oh, of a big star, no less. Oh, man. I'm in trouble now. I like how they do, like, a dis- like, for noises in the distance, they take away their names, I suppose, so it can kind of be, like, a little bit ambiguous. I like that a lot. Um, I'm excited to go through this case, though, guys. This is actually really freaking interesting, especially since it relates to an old case as well. Uh, let's talk to Gumshoe. What happened? So, Detective Gumshoe, a murder. Ah, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick? Is the dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mystic Mai was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off! What? The guy that died was this hero named Jammin' Ninja, pal. The Jammin' Ninja. Lot of heart. Uh, that woman with the big puffy hair looks like cotton candy. That looks like cotton candy. Yeah, it's Lotta. You mean Lotta? That woman. She was there that time too, right? That time? When Mystic Maya did that channeling? Oh, that time. Well, Lotta's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist. It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah. Hiding in wait in front of the Jammin' Ninja's door. But why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just said something about getting my big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news could she be after? Let's talk about the victim then, Gumshoe. So the victim was the Jammin' Ninja? Mr. Jammin' Ninja? He was on a- he was a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh. The victim was the action star, Juan Corrida. So it's Juan Corrida, maybe? Juan Corrida? I don't want to mispronounce it, guys, by the way. Um, I actually have people, uh, with that similar name, but, like, it's pronounced in different ways in different countries, so, uh, tell me what you think would be appropriate. He got a huge push of a road, uh, and rode the express train to start him. I mean, even I know who he is. Uh, a push... By the way, when you're talking about show business or any type of entertainment business, a push is when someone 
puts all of their like resources behind you to make you a bigger star. They will try their very best in every single way to make you a bigger star. Yeah, even I recognize his face. But I heard lately the Mac Matt on guard's been taking the wind out of his sail. Oh, look at Matt! I like your hair, Matt. Have you met my friend Maya? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I really like his hair. I'm telling you, pal, as far as uh, who's popular, those two are just hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. Mr. On Guard. That Nickel Samurai, that's Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. I mean, no! You got to say it with more oomph! The Nickel Samurai! Anyway, so now that uh, Juan Cordy is gone, that means uh, Mr. On Guard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We can't have that happen, you know? Can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Um, can we go in? Do we leave here now? Because it seems that we don't have much else to do here. I don't know if there's anything we can examine here. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for everything, Gumshoe. Go back to the lobby, maybe? No? Did I miss something? Do we have anything we can present? Why do you think of this? Oh, he's just telling me I can't look at it. That's a really cool picture, though. Um... I don't think we can move anywhere else from here. Can we talk to him anymore about something? Can we move? Can we, can we examine anymore? Um, let's move back to Viola Hall for a second, and then move back to the hotel lobby here. Maybe she has something else to say about something. Maybe not. <laughs> um, no idea exactly what we have to do here now, because I feel like I've not exhausted everything, but... You know, like, I feel like... I don't know. It's clear, it's clear we have to do, like, gumshoe. Like, but we don't think we would, like... We don't have much to present. Oh, we can... We can present profiles as well, for fuck's sake. I guess... You want Corita? I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. But I know Juan Corita and Madan Garda. You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. So they have this real f fiery rivalry with each other. Kind of like you and me, pal. I never knew he thought of me as a rival. I, like... Uh, I always thought we worked together, you know, we're in the justice system, I suppose. That Nickel Samurai, he really took the Grand Prix tonight. Mai's a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. For what? Why are you sorry? Madagar was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Uwan Korida. What? Like, this is... Pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, now we can talk. Okay, okay, I forgot we can present profiles to people as well. I keep forgetting that. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another steel samurai hero is in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick, if Mystic Maya knew about this... Yeah, I know. She made me take this case. I know. Can we move back to Viola Hall, then? Can we move back to the hotel lobby? Oh, here we go. Okay. March 20th, Gatewater Hotel. Hotel lobby. Hey, uh... So what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Cory has been... killed. It is pretty, like... You forget how dark some of these stories are, right? What? Juan? He's... It looks like he was murdered. And a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt on guard. You're joking, right? No. They arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murdering the Jamming Ninja. <sighs> Not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way, Matt would. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this... This is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. Originally from the bellboy, it can transmit and receive signals over great distances. 
For me? But why? I don't know. All he said was, it was for Mr. Felix Wright, the attorney. Why? Why did we get this stuff? Madam Wan. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but he kept adding fuel to the fire in his rivalry with Wan anyway. Mr. Wan, he's the jamming ninja, right? Those two would butt heads on over everything they could think of. But I say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people don't only really know how to relate to the others by butting heads like a ram. Wan said that he'd make Matt on this time, he'd take Matt on this time too, so he joined a rival TV show. And that was the Jamming Ninja. The stylish Nickel Samurai and the Burning Jamming Ninja. Sounds pretty cool though, right? Well, things turn out messy real fast with those two using their shows for their war. And finally, and, final, and the final tally, look around, it's pretty obvious how things end, ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. What about the press conference? Mr. Rongar was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He was going to be in costume? But why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. I'm really worried about her actually. Now that she mentions it, Maya's only gone to going, was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look, a quick look around, for, around for her. Oh no. What have they done to Maya? What is it, Mr. Nick? Ha, uh, I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Yes, hello, right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the Ace Attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have the other things to be other things to be concerned yourself with, such as. I knew it as soon as they handed me the, the transceiver. I was like, "Yeah, we're fucked." Like she, she's been taken. Mystic Maya, this is so fucked. So, Mister Wright, wouldn't you agree that the the, the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate. Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. Th this... No. This can't be. Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return you to your valuable... Uh, your valuable item on arm. She's not an item. She's not an item. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes. That's it. This is a kidnapping. Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! My sight. Everything's fading away. Yeah, I could see a really cool way they did it there, but like, holy shit! <laughs> Maya. Maya's been kidnapped. Are you there, Mr. Attorney? Are you there? How much? How much do you want? Oh, Nick. Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad we have such a good grasp on the situation. Hurry up and state your condition and then return Maya. Money is not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Who is this? I am not the person you will be re representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan Corita was killed, and the suspect is mad on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Madar- Are you serious? That's not how it works. What if he did it? Mad on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone, I can attest to that. However... However? However what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take me at my word or not. 
However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me in my possession. Mm. Help! Mm. Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight, he will be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At the trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. One. You expect me to not get... Sorry, one. You expect me to not get a guilty in one trial day? To get a not guilty in one trial day? Are you serious? Wait. We haven't done that before, have we? Except in, like, the tutorial trial? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you. So don't let me down. Oh, yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say... And don't even think about calling the cops. This guy's an actor. Hmm. Not great, but you get the idea. Damn it. Who... Who the hell are you? Very well, I'll tell you that much. My name is... The Killer. The Killer? Like, The Killer? Like, THE Killer? Mr. Nick! Where's Mr. Mike? This is pretty fucked... Pearl! She's been kidnapped! No. No, it's all my fault! If only I had gone with Mystic Maya! No, Maya, you would've been gone too! It's not your fault, Pearl- oh, sorry, Pearls. It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is! It is! Mystic Maya! Mr. Wright, I think we- I think we should tell the police what's going on. We can't! We cannot! No. We can't do that. If we do, who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe! Yes, that's it. Wait here. And I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh! Not so loud. The ransom is complete. A complete acquittal for Mister for Madame Guard. Wait, the deal is a complete acquittal in exchange for Maya? You mean? Then this means Madame Guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy that the guy said that Mister On Guard is innocent. You really believe a kidnapper? Uh, what a kidnapper tells you, pal? Well, Gumshoe's not wrong. I guess he has a point. If Angara really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensic team is having a field day back there. Um... But it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about Angara being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. That's true. I've heard that from cop shows. You're right. This is crazy. Date, time, location. This is nuts. I did not expect this at all. We're going to leave this episode for here, guys. I'll see you next time.